How's it going everyone? It's Gadget Spoy. Welcome to another video. In this one, we have a concept phone 2021 from Infinix Mobile. And uh, this is it in front of me, as you can see there. It looks decent. It's got some uh, nice design feature to it that I quite like. And uh, I think the key feature on this though is that ultra fast charging or super fast charging. Uh, this is capable of 160 watts wired fast charging and improved 50 watts wireless charging. That is ridiculous. So you can get this thing back up to 100% in just 10 minutes using that big battery, sorry, the charging brick that comes in the box. As you can see there, 160 watts, Infinix, ultra fast charge. Uh, so this is quite chunky. It's almost the same size as what you'd get in a laptop uh, charging box, sorry, laptop uh, packaging. So like your Apple Mac charger, for example, that's the sort of size that you'd get with your laptop. But without further ado, let's get into it and actually talk about how that works and what that's all about. The drawbacks, the downsides, and all that kind of stuff. I've had it for a bit and uh, I've been using it, just trying it out, testing that supercharge and see what that's all about, if it gets hot or not. Uh, because the downsides of having a ultra fast charge is your phone is susceptible to getting hot. Uh, the battery in there, the lifespan of it is susceptible as well to decreasing. And it also encourages you to use your phone more because you begin to cultivate this habit of draining your battery and using it a lot more because you know that you can quickly charge it back up and you're back to 100%, which is something that I do. Since if, if with my normal fast charge phones, I do that a lot. I, just drain it knowing that I can quickly charge it back up again before I leave the house. But before we get into it, if this is your first time around here, please do subscribe, smash the like button and share it at the end of the video as well if you've enjoyed it. And uh, don't forget the bell notification so you get to know every time I upload a new video up on the channel. Let's get on with the phone. So on the back of the device, you have this nice, this nice design. It's got like a nice uh, matte finish to it. It doesn't stop there though. There's something about the case as well uh, that allows it to light up. So when you're charging it, the case lights up on the back. So it shows that green pulsating color. Or if you have a phone call, for example, that will also serve as some sort of like notification alert. So you can see when there's a phone call coming, if you have your phone uh, laid flat on the surface. Uh, around it as well, you have your volume rocker on the right side of the phone and a power button as well. And it's got a curved edge on both sides, both the front and the back. But the front wraps all the way around the device. So you can see there, it just wraps, if it focuses. Yeah, it wraps all the way around it, which as, it down, as it's downsides, I'm not a big fan of curved displays just because you lose some of that real estate. So when you're watching movies, for example, or playing games, your content will go all the way around to the device and you can actually see it there. And you get some bleeding as well, which I'm not a big fan of. The bottom corners as well are just nicely rounded up. I, again, if that focuses, yeah. So this rounds up there on the edges. So again, just adds to the design and it's, it's, it feels nice to hold in hand in that sense as well. On the bottom, you have your SIM card tray at the bottom. You got USB-C ports for charging it and data transfer, microphones there, and your mono speaker as well. This downward firing speaker just means again, when you're holding it and playing games or watching movies, you have to be careful not to block it because it blocks the sound quality coming out of it. On the front, you have a 32 megapixel camera, uh, which is decent. It's not the best in my opinion, just because it's 32 megapixels, it doesn't produce the best quality of the photos that I've used before and some of the front-facing cameras that I've used before. But it's decent, you can still take nice photos and share them online if you need to. You got your uh, earpiece right at the bottom, at the top there. And on the top, you have this nice little writing that says Infinix Context, uh, Context. Infinix Concept Phone 2021, which I quite like. I like when brands put that little writing on devices with a nice font like that. But it looks like a nice glossy finish, which attracts a lot of fingerprint, but can just wipe it and you're good to go. On the back, you have that big camera lens there. So this has got a 64 megapixel camera set up, eight megapixel ultra wide and eight megapixel telephoto lens. And you got your flash there as well. It's got AI camera. I think most phones on Android nowadays have AI camera to some sort of sense uh, level. Uh, so AI cameras there, it means to just adjust your photos to the best it can be when you're taking photos out and about with like things like backlight and HDR situation. It just adjusts those things for you. Or you can just take your photos yourself without the AI uh, interrupted uh, your photography session so you can do that as well but otherwise there's not much to it there's no fingerprint sensor there's no like in-screen in fingerprint sensor right here it's a full hd plus amoled display which looks great but it's lacking some level of blacks in there as well so when i'm watching movies for example it looks very faded when i'm gaming it looks a lot fade a lot more faded than i've seen on some of the other devices that i use day to day uh, so that's something that is quite thick as well for a device so i think that's because of that 4000 million power battery in there and some sort of technology that's going on in there. But I don't mind that thickness at all. It gives it some sort of uh, substantial element to it. So it feels really nice in hand in terms of weight as well. I really like that. Again, this is a concept phone. So if they're actually gonna release this for the public to buy that, I don't know, but we'll be able to test that technology in this with that 160 watt uh, supercharge, which 
it's fascinating the way they've done it to uh, to to think about things like cooling to keep it cool. Uh, every time you plug in as well, Android system itself. This is running Android 11, by the way. So Android system itself would automatically shut this off uh, from charging once it's reached 100% charge. So it will stop charging and stop pumping power into it to save uh, to prevent this getting over uh, hot, uh, overheating that kind of stuff. But let me get into a bit more details about that under 60 watts supercharged though. So when it comes to the charging features to, to just explain a bit more of what this is and how it actually works. So this concept phone has, like I keep saying throughout the video, 160, 160 watt of wired charging. To make this work, you have this innovative supercharged pump that enables the smartphone to reach 98.6% charging uh, conversion efficiency whilst avoiding overloading and overheating caused by large currents. So for example, if you were to be doing this normally on say another phone, you might overheat if that technology is not enabled, um, which is great that I thought of that because otherwise you might leave this in charge and come back to a phone that's exploded. You also have intelligent temperature control algorithms that basically monitors the temperature of the device in real time and they basically adjust the charging power to keep the smartphone under 40 degrees Celsius to avoid overheating and to prolong uh, longevity as well. Like I was saying at the start, one of the downsides of having ultra fast charge is the power, the lifespan of your battery in there. But with temperature control, it means that they're watching this at all time. It's being monitored in a way that avoids that. So. Again, I don't have this long enough to actually put that to test, but it'll be interesting to see how the lifespan of the battery would last for. It will still be affected, but it'll be interesting to see when it starts to get affected and how long for. In terms of the battery, you have a new 8C battery cell that reduces more than 18% of internal resistance in comparison with 6C batteries that we normally have. And this generates less heat as well to provide incredible charging power. That just means it's a stronger battery, it's a, more, it's a battery that has better longevity and is more robust compared to 6C. So 8C is the next level up of the kind of battery that hopefully will be seen in more devices as well. So you also get an integrated 60 security protection that are triggered during potentially hazardous situation to ensure the system, the safety of the smartphone system, such as the power adapter security protection, interface and cable protection, and mobile terminal protection and more. You might just think you're getting a cable in the box or just the power adapter or the interface that's on here. All those have some level of security around them to make sure that they're all protected and you're not getting a phone again that's just gonna fry as soon as you start charging at that level of charging speed and charging rate. By the way, you must have noticed the now writing on the back already. And that basically is part of Infinix um, slogan, which is the future is now, which this is, a <laughs> this is a future technology to have that level of fast charge. In terms of security, I know I mentioned there's no fingerprint sensor, but actually this is capable of that in-screen fingerprint sensor according to the documents that I received. But when I go into security settings, I couldn't find the option to actually enroll my finger for fingerprint sensor on there. But again, it's a concept phone, so this is not complete. Uh, you have face unlock, you have pin unlock as normal, um, but yeah. And you you got some interesting uh, software features as well. So if we go into our special functions menu in the settings, you have things like social turbo, which I haven't tried. Uh, you got game mode, which helps you improve your gaming experience and uh, game assistant panel as well. So you can see your data and all that kind of stuff improves like GPU performance when you're gaming. Uh, you got um, action and gesture as well. So you got a bunch of gestures that you can do on here. For example, raise the ear to answer phone calls, tap to wake, all like, all these actions and gestures are here for you to use to help you get a better experience of the device as well. But other than that, you get a few couple of bloatwares in there, so some pre-installed application that you can actually remove as well, but you do get some on there. And uh, yeah, I think it's very simple to use. It's nice and fluid, thanks to that MediaTek Ilios G95 processor in there. It just works really well. I've got no complaint in terms of processing power, but again, the main selling point for this is that for me is that ultra fast charging, that 160 watts, that is ridiculous. In terms of storage, you would get 128 gigabytes of internal storage on it and eight gigabytes of RAM. And again, I wish they added a bit more RAM in there, but in this day and age, games work really well. When I was playing Call of Duty on air, there was no issues at all. The game was smooth, there was no hiccups at all. So that's fine for me. Um, but let me know what you think in the comments, guys. Would you buy one of these for that, just for the fast charge sake? Are you worried? Are you concerned? What do you think? If you have questions as well, drop them below. Let me know what you think as well. I hope that they actually bring this out in terms of that charge rate. That is, again, just ridiculous. Uh, but yeah, first time around here, make sure you subscribe and smash the like button and share it as well. Ding the bell notification so you'll be one of the first people to know every time I upload a new video like this, if you're interested in more videos like this, that is. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.